Hi DIYers, this is Frank at AlarmGrid. We're back in the AlarmGrid video lab working on the 2GIG GC3 panel. We're going to show you how to swap out a cellular radio on your system. Uh, you may notice in either of the cellular radio guides, uh, specifically we're going to be working on the Alarm.com radios today, uh, you'll notice that there's the, you do have the ability to uh, do what's called a cellular swap. Um, what that means is that when the system is powered on, you can basically remove one uh, cellular communicator and put in another. Um, the guide is a little bit confusing. Uh, there is mention that you can uh, install your first radio when the system is powered on. Um, what we've noticed, at least on our system here in the lab, is that uh, the feature to begin and es essentially cut power to the cellular radio and allow for that hot swap um, it's not there on, uh, unless there's a cellular radio already installed. So uh, we already have a video on installing the 2GIG-3GA-A-GC3 radio. Uh, we also will have a video for the 2GIG-CDMA-V-A-GC3. Uh, this video here will actually be showing you how to remove uh, the 3GA or the, the AT&T radio uh, and putting in the CDMA um, Verizon radio. So uh, you'll notice that when we go in here into programming uh, to do the cellular swap, that begin button will show and we can do that swap here uh, in live time. Again, uh, the, f the first time you install these, um, you'll notice in our, in our other videos you will have to power down the system. So um, I'm not sure if that's something that will be changed in firmware. Uh, so that those guides are, in fact, uh, correct with their statement on hot, sw on hot installing. Um, it may just be a hot swap for now, not a, not a primary uh, initial install. So uh, again, we'll show you how to do the swap here with the radio already installed, and then we'll install our new uh, Verizon radio here. So um, if you were in, say, you, you, know, you got this system, you ended up with an AT&T radio, uh, and maybe the AT&T coverage has not been so great in your area, maybe Verizon's a lot better, that's where this, this swap could be a good solution for you. So we'll, hit, uh, we'll go into system settings on the bottom right, and this time we can enter either the master code, which by default is 1111, uh, or we can enter the installer code, which is 1561. Uh, once you're in this, in this field here, we can then uh, swipe down and you'll see cellular radio swap. Uh, you'll notice that because we have the radio in there already, it'll say select begin to start cellular radio module. Uh, we can do begin or radio test. Uh, for right now, we'll do begin. So in this mode, where it says remove the cellular radio, it's cut power to the cellular side of this panel. So what we'll do is we'll grab the little tab here on the bottom, on the bottom uh, side of the, of the door and there's a, there's a little tab here that sticks out with an arrow on the side of the radio. We can just grab that and give it a firm pull. And you'll notice that uh, now the screen says insert cell radio uh, module and select done. So I'll take our, our old AT&T unit, put that down, and we'll take our new Verizon uh, CDMA V-A-GC3. Uh, before we put this in, you always want to document the ADC number, uh, so just make sure that you have the ADC. Uh, you might as well just take a photo of this with your, with your smartphone, uh, or you can just document the numbers on here. You'll need that ADC number in order to uh, change over to this radio on alarm.com. You'll need to give that to your dealer. So uh, we'll take this. We want the, the antenna sticking up and the, connection, the uh, gold connector here uh, facing inside the panel. So we'll just push that right in, it just firm, snug, firmly uh, sits in there, nice and snug. We'll grab our door again, and that little tab here we'll have on the bottom right. You want to put the three hinges into the back plate first, sit it in there nice and tight, and then snap it shut. Now, once we have this completed, we can click Done. It'll say Working, and uh, it'll take a few moments for that to uh, give power back to the cellular, mod cellular uh, compartment here. And as that's, 
as that's doing its thing there, um, again, this was swapping out the 3GA-A-GC3 uh, dash dash for the CDMA-V-A-GC3. Dash dash um, you could do the same thing the other way if you had a Verizon, if you had the CDMA radio in there first, and AT&T happened to be better in your area, um, then you could do the same thing. Um, same cellular swap process here. It may take a couple of minutes for this to uh, get power back to the cellular module. So we'll give that just a few moments here uh, to keep working and make that physical and, uh, and firmware swap inside the system. Uh, these cellular radios give you the ability to enroll in Alarm.com service, uh, which again, uh, we've discussed in other videos, but gives you the capability to set up the Alarm.com app uh, where you can remotely control your system and set up customizable text and email alerts, uh, as well as uh, allow your Alarm.com dealer, your alarm company, uh, to remotely program and uh, configure sensors for you, uh, as well as other deeper level programming uh, features. Um, this process, you'll notice, could take several minutes. So we'll give the panel couple more here and there it is it says cell radio module swap complete and you could do a radio test now we could hit radio test and you'll see signal strength is four out of six bars and it'll actually show you the serial number on there um, it'll say registration status registered and it's idle so uh, we already have this set up here on the system I can back all the way out to the home screen and now we have our new uh, CDMA Verizon radio installed in our 2GIG GC3. If you have any further questions on doing a radio swap on your 2GIG GC3, please email us at support at alarmgrid.com and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.